in the cells of higher organisms. Replication and cell division are separated in time and space. In other words, DNA synthesis occurs at one point, the cells divide at another time. Here are some very early observations in working out the eukaryotic cell cycle. So what you see is a circle representing from any one point to another the generation of new cells. The top part is mitosis and cytokinesis, sometimes referred to as the M and C phases of the cell cycle. You may recall the phases of mitosis as prophase, that's P, metaphase, that's M, anaphase, that's A, and telophase, that's T in the illustration here. That's a very short time in the life of a cell. Most of the rest of the time of a eukaryotic cell is spent in, meaning the phase between successive mitoses. And the simple microscope observation by very patient observers showed that mitosis and cytokinesis last about one to two hours but for cells that might have a 15 or 60 to 24 hour doubling time. Let's continue to work out the cell cycle in an experimental way. Here we have some cells in culture. We imagine that some are in mitosis. That's the one with the little red cartoon of a spindle fiber. And other cells are not. And if you take such cells at any time from a non-synchronous culture and uh, incubate them for a short time with a precursor to DNA, in this case, tritiated thymine, remember thymine is part of the nucleotide that is incorporated into DNA exclusively, Tritiated thymine is radioactive. If it is taken up by cells, the cells will become radioactive, and specifically, the DNA will become radioactive, won't it? So we can spread these cells on a glass slide and look at them in the microscope. It's not to scale here, of course, but if you look, you can really see that very few cells show a mitotic figure, meaning a mitotic spindle. Uh, about 7% of any given cell population that uh, duplicates every, say, 20 hours are going to be in mitosis. The rest are going to be in the interphase. Well, these are radioactive cells according to the experiment, so which of them should or should not be radioactive? Well, we can find out by laying a piece of film over the top of the slide and allowing some time for the radioactive thymine incorporated into DNA in the nuclei of those cells to expose the film. So we, can, we can develop the film, develop the autoradiograph, and when you do that, I think you saw that, let's do it again. The film shows black spots, which are concentrated silver grains, right over the cells that were radioactive. If you uh, write down your observations very carefully, you will realize that the cells that made DNA, of course they made their DNA in that five-minute interval during which they were exposed to the tritiated thymine, those cells are radioactive. They're the ones under the black dots in the film. But none of them were cells in mitosis. That means DNA must not be synthesized during the mitosis and cytokinesis phases of the cell cycle. That simply means that replication must precede mitosis. Replication must occur then at some point in interphase before the beginning of mitosis, before prophase, before that P phase of mitosis. This is the phases of the cell cycle as we know them now, and I've included prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and then cytokinesis as part of the M phase. This is not temporally to scale. The cartoon that I drew is, is closer to the times of the cell cycle shown here. So in the corner is what I just showed you, and here is a cell cycle showing how much time each phase lasts, and it's variable depending on the cell type.